Thank you for coming here. Um, as uh, Luca has uh, alluded to, we're going to talk about advances on fetal heart examination and function. I kind of change a little bit the title to imaging because the heart examination that I'm interested in, that I'm going to discuss with you today is about imaging. And imaging really means quality uh, of the information we obtain. Uh, we, over the years, the heart anatomy hasn't changed, but the technology has changed a lot. So I'm just going to concentrate a little bit on new um, processing of the image that helps to clean the image uh, and make the information more clear. Uh, then on function, um, I will touch very briefly on some conventional methods just to recap with you. I'm not going to go extensively into that and again through new research methods and then we'll try and replicate that uh, on the live session. So if we start with uh, imaging, uh, I'm going to start with the face because every time I scan the heart, I also look at the baby. And so it, it's very nice. In the, you can see the definition that you get there. People turning their heads, uh, you know, the, the upper and lower lip very um, clearly demarcated, very clean image. So we're trying to achieve the same uh, quality with the heart. So I'm going to start with a picture which you say, well, yes, it's a good picture, but can we do any better? And I'd just like to emphasize that, you know, it's very important to maintain a very fast frame rate to get more information. Uh, so that helps to start with. And I'm just going to illustrate a little bit about uh, a new uh, post-processing of the image, which is being labeled as carving, just as you if you're taking away some of the noise from the image. And I prepared this clip here, uh, which will play time and time again. And if you look at the picture, you can see how, by adjusting one or two buttons only, the image becomes more clear. You, can, you lose all this noise. Some of it is just um, spontaneous contrast, because it's a high definition, a high frequency probe, uh, and a 20 week fetus. We can still use a high frequency to get more definition. So a combination of everything, but you can see how the image can be clear. And if I show on the next one, uh, which is kind of the maximum that we can obtain. So a lot of the problems with post-processing is if you put the picture already of the post-processing and you don't grade it, you can clean too much the information and at the same time you can lose information or you can get very thick echoes to make the pictures smooth. So it's important that we are able to define structures like uh, I chose here one of the valves, the pulmonary valve in our three vessel view. And you can see that that is really the valve. We really, as cardiologists, we want to measure things accurately. We want to see the valves opening and closing. Uh, and of course, the obstetricians are very interested in that as well. So if I play this short clip, you can see here uh, how important it is to see that valve opening and closing. And I'm just going to try and, and do it very slowly, maybe going backwards. And you see the valve appearing there, and then it will open. It's easier to do in the machine. So when it disappears, just there, you can actually see, just see here the hinge points of the valve. So if you want to measure it in dias in, in, in systole, you'd measure here. Uh, I normally measure it in diastole when the valve is closed. So it's very uh, clear definition of the edges. And in the next uh, clip, it's the same, just showing that it helps to see the valve very clearly, so we can do a technique properly, which in the fetus is from the inner edge to inner edge, um, to measure the, the, the structures. Sometimes we do it very quickly as a doing an examination, but particularly if there is an abnormality, it's very important to get a very clear view of the valves that we're measuring and the structures, because they are relatively small. <coughs> 